welcome back to crafting with three designs uh, welcome back all my subscribers thank you for subscribing and if you're new here don't forget to subscribe and to click on the notification bell to be notified every time i upload these amazing videos in this video i'm going to show you how to uh, sublimate on a graduation stall this graduation stall is 60 inch like 30 inch one side and 30 inch on the other side and it's made of bridal satin and we have this in our shopify store and today i'm going to be using uh Hobie sublimation paper it's 13 by 19 okay when you get this paper you can uh print on the on the white side the back is pink and the front is white this paper is amazing i'm telling you it will release all the ink on your graduation store on your on your substrate i'm telling you and we are also using Kobe sublimation ink that's this ink right here you can get it from our website you can get four bottles or you can get eight bottles in this video i also used um parchment paper to put on top to sublimate okay you will see everything in the video and you will see how amazing the graduation store came out if you want to see how i designed the graduation store in silhouette studio business edition i will leave a link below in the description okay here are my printouts um you see i split it like in the video and i print it out like this so i'm going to cut them out the side is not a big deal the side here is not a big deal here is the big deal here is where you should pay attention to i'm going to cut it like this and then when i fit it not too not too small on the side this is my first print so i had some um, ink smear on it but my second one didn't have the ink smear on it so when your machine when you have this on your machine make make sure that you align your paper really well in your printer and um if they keep coming if you keep having this um print uh, make some print outs after sometimes maybe a second or the third one you won't see it again like i said this is the first one so i had i have some smear over here and i'm using um kobe sublimation paper we have the 13 by 19 and to make these um these graduation stores to print them out like sublimate them it's, it's very ideal to use a bigger paper than the 8.5 by 11. if that's all you have if you have the small printer and that's all you have it's okay you can do it but if you have a big printer please go for the bigger size paper the 13 by 19 order the 13 inch um sublimation paper roll so you don't have to cut it and stuff okay now we're going to fit them um this part should be on here okay and what i'm going to do i'm going to leave this part here so I'll, I'll place this part on top of it that means i need to trim this tiny part off and when i trim it i'm going to go a little bit into the design a tiny bit because i don't want a white line to be seen when i print when i sublimate it so i'll go in a little bit on the on the color tiny tiny bit so this i'm gonna tape on here okay look what i'm going to do so i'm going to use this right here this is very handy if you don't have it you need to get one this right here very very handy it will cut your tape for you okay i'll put this over here 
now I will go under here if you can see what I'm doing I'm going to place tape under here if you want you can put it in the length okay now I have this okay now I'm going to place I'm going to work on here first okay I pasted it together it will be like this okay this is the first side let's go to the other side I'll leave here like this from the white out and I'm going to do the same put tape on here okay I fitted it in the back. I'm gonna turn it around and I'll place one more here. Okay, so now I'm going to um, tape my paper, my transfer to my graduation stool. Okay, this side is this one, and the left side is the other part. You can see it on here too, this line. That means this one comes on this side. You see that, like this. Okay. I'll place it so... And I place my store over it. Like this to here. Okay, and then I will cut it. I will have to tweak it a little bit on this side. Tweak it right there. Let's go. Okay, I placed a car piece of cardboard here and I'm going to tape it. I'm going to tape it on here so that it will leave flat. here you tweak a little bit you move it a little bit to the inside so that it can yeah so that it can be printed and then we... now i'm going to trim out these pieces or i can push them to the back like this you can add more tape here if you want to and I'm going to flip it and then I'll, I'll, I'll trim some off so I can fit here. Okay, so I can fit right there. I'm going to tape it here also. okay this is how I taped it if you have wider tape it will be better like with wider tape and then we will turn it around like so and I'll use parchment paper 
we will print one side and then I'll drag it down and we print the other side, press the other side. I believe it came out really well. Oh yes it did. It's not where I met met it, it's where oh. okay. This is our work. Let's go here. This is how our work we're going to overlap it here later with the other part. And here is where I connected the two papers. Here is where they folded. I need to do it. it came out amazing. I hope you can see. Amazing, amazing. On the side, we did this side, so we're going to do this side. And you see it on here too. So it's this side. Okay. Place it over here. Okay, I have taped everything, taped the stole to the transfer, and we're going to press it. Okay, let's get this ready. Put this here. Thank you so much for watching the video and this is our um result it came out really well our result and like i told you i used 
Pori sublimation paper and Pori sublimation ink. And let me show you the the paper that's left. Yeah. Let me use this one. And look at the ink release. Let me hold it the right way. You see the blue ink tape we used? Look at the ink release. Look at the ink release. Amazing, amazing. This is the Pui Sublimation paper, and I use the Pui Sublimation ink. If you need this ink, actually you need it, get it from my website. We ship out to you fast, really, really fast. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.